let's move into the ugly though. And Andrew, I want to start off with you again, man. Uh, what, what's the worst thing you saw out there? Um, so now we have to sit with the, the fact of this season, uh, we've lost to Jimmy Garoppolo. We've lost to Sam Howell. And now for the second time in his career, we have lost to Zach Wilson, who arguably is the worst quarterback in the national football league. Uh, that hurts me. Uh, that hurts me for sure. Uh, Sean Payton offense, uh, or a Sean Payton led offense, I should say, uh, getting outperformed by the New York Jets and allowing Nathaniel Hackett to have the last laugh. Uh, this was tough for me. Where I understood our defense really is, it is, it is the worst unit in National Football. It hurts to say, but it's the truth. Uh, we got torched by Brees Hall, and that's primarily going to skew the statistics. Uh, but Zach Wilson did a job yesterday. He did have that interception in the in the in their second to last drive. That obviously was not great. Was almost pretty costly if we were able to to score a touchdown there. But other than that, these guys can't get open. I really can't blame as much as I want to, of course give some some blame to to Sean Payton it's just you were talking so much during the preseason you said uh, that that yeah. when you get the attention all on you and you and you try to win the offseason usually things don't go as planned if you're going to talk on top of it don't backtrack which what Sean Payton did which I hated more than anything I thought that you make a statement like that stand on it Give us a different give us a different way that that people look at us, because for years, people have been looking at us as one of the worst teams. They don't they don't really care about us. But now we become the bad guys after a season of looking like a joke where at, we were the butt of everyone's joke with Russell Wilson. And he's thrown less touchdowns than he has windows or, or bathrooms in his house. Uh, it, it would have been nice to have a change of mentality in the building. He backtracks and then on top of it allows the Jets who have the inferior uh, quarterback on the side and of course inferior offensive play caller it didn't seem like that yesterday unfortunately and Zach was able to make big play after big play and ugly as much as it kills me because I don't know if you guys know me I love Russ and yeah. it really it hurts me that last season it was just blame Russ and it was understood he did not play well we did not live up to expectations it was tough it's been great so far this season to see him be successful early on in the first half second half not so much other than the Bears game, of course. But it's been great to see him bounce back, but then fumbling at the end when everything, it just seems like we're having such a great drive. Russell Wilson looked very good as a mobile quarterback. That's something I should have mentioned in my good as well. He looked super athletic. The rust that we thought we were getting, that was great to see. But to fumble the way that he did, them to score that touchdown, just take the life out of all Broncos fans watching because – we want a great draft pick, but we want to win. Like, there's every part of us that's watching that game. We're playing the Jets. You know that it's a rivalry. We There's a lot going into that game to come up short and to, to end the game like that. That was ugly, and it was very hard for me to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, man, I, I, I was uh, – Jet, Jets guys were inviting me on their podcast this week. In the live mm. chat was just going crazy that whole time. Bro, I wanted to beat them so bad. I was part of like, hey, let's lose too. That's what I wanted for mm. this season. Like, I want Caleb Williams or Drake May, except for the Jets game. I have that one circled. So true. Right there. 100%. I, I have that one circled. I can't I can't hack it. I mean, it just kind of sucks because the guy that couldn't bench Melvin Gordon last year just yeah. the head coach that we had who traded a first-round pick for. It just – that was definitely the ugly, and that's what I have too. I guess the other thing I have, and you put this in your bat, it was just – it's just continuous for me, Andrew, and that's that's the run defense, man. I can't get behind mm. this anymore. It is abysmal. And if there was one thing I thought the Broncos defense – I figured there would be some regression, but I, looking at paper – all right, Mike Purcell, good run defender. Zach Allen, he should be a good run defender. DJ Jones, he looks like a good run defender. Then Josie Jewell – and we got Alex Singleton. Our run defense should be pretty good this year. That's a take I had going into the season. Yep. No, it's been abysmal. Other than the Raiders game where Josh Jacobs had his first game back after missing all of training camp, the Broncos defense has been terrible stopping the run, and it only continued this week. Um, hey, for advice, if anybody plays fantasy football in the chat, start whoever the hell is playing the Broncos. <laughs> For like sure. seriously, that, that that should just be a key. Who's getting the most carries that week? Start them. 
it, it's it's that bad for the run defense. Um, Zach, what, Zach, what do you got? Sorry, I had to flip back. Yeah, it's it's terrible. I just, I, it's all bad. That's kind of what I felt. I, I, I was struggling to make this graphic. That's why I've got the Broncos fan. Cause I was just like, I don't know everything. Like I almost put a picture of the stadium. Cause I just <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know all of it. All like every little, it's not good. It's I, I think you look at, I, I alluded to it earlier, but like, what do you feel good? At, what is well constructed about this team moving forward? Like, Russ is playing fine, but the construction there was paying him sixty million dollars and uh, annually, and uh, you know, trading all these picks for him and everything. Like, that's he hasn't lived up to that. That's poor construction. I think running back is another strength of this group, but I don't know. Do we feel great about trading up? You know, to into the top forty to take Javante Williams right now. I he's I think he's a good player. I just is he that level of difference maker right now? And plenty of that's injury. I'm not making any final determinations, but I'm just saying right now where we sit right now. Take into account injuries. Take into account the whole thing. What aspect of this roster do you feel good about? Maybe interior offensive line is what you're hanging your hat on with Ben Powers, who looks like he's overpaid right now, and Quinn Miners, who's a good starter, and Lloyd Cushenberry, who's a good starter. But that is that the best unit on this team I, I it's at least in the conversation and that says a lot about the rest of this team especially because we know how bad a lot of it is like we we know about you know mcglinchy or, or some of the we just ran it about wide receiver and that's not even to get into the worst defense in the nfl it's <laughs> i i just it's tough it's tough i don't mean to be i'll do i actually think this is good because it, it'll they'll finally bottom out I think finally you can't go. It's this one thing that's holding us back and we fix that one thing and we're good again. No. You can't play that game anymore. I just, I don't know. It's at the point now where I don't know if like you feel overly great about Sean Payton. I, I feel good. I think it's maybe the part of the Broncos. I feel most good about right now, but God, like the, Hackett was two and three at this point with a similarly bad roster with way worse coaching with Russell Wilson melting down. I just, I, I don't know. And, and like, it's not like the schedule has been brutal for Sean Payton. You listed off the bad quarterbacks they've lost to. I just, and I'm, not, I'm definitely not sounding the alarm on Sean Payton. It's just, wow. Even the things we're supposed to feel good about Sean Payton, they paid him a ton of money. They gave him a first round pick. He's the head coach for at least three seasons. And it's like, uh, maybe he's lost his fastball. I think it's hard to at least not have that in the back of your head at this point. I understand where you're coming from. I just think about it how last season was so miserable where we are an offensive league. We understand that this is an offensive league. If you are not putting points on the board, you, you, you're, you're going to win very minimal games. Now, our defense was otherworldly last season. We had something elite about us, which is why Nathaniel Hackett was able to win some games early on because our defense was not allowing the other team to put up over 20 points. We were spectacular. We just could not score. We were the worst offense in football. Now, Sean Payton at least puts us in respectable territory, which is significant. We're significantly better offensively than we were last season. I don't think anyone, you could have asked, you could have pulled a hundred Broncos fans. I want to say at least 90 came into the season saying our defense is, is going to be good. This is the yeah. one thing that I could look at and at least be safe. Maybe we need some more pressure uh, on the line. You know, of course, get some guys that can pressure the quarterback. Other than that, we're good. Kawan goes down. Uh, you, you have Baron Browning coming to the season injured. It just, a lot of things just start to go wrong with us. And now we can't stop a nosebleed. Now our defense is the worst in the league. I don't think anybody saw us being the worst unit in football. I yeah. get where you're coming from, though. I, I do. It's just tough to sit here and think, Javante, his knee, that's just been it's the reason why Javante is not the same is because that injury has to be lingering. He's just not that same guy that, that we thought he would be, that he showed his flashes his rookie season. It's just hindsight so clear, and it, and it's tough to sit with. Yeah, and you know what? I agree with you on that. You couldn't predict how bad this defense would be. I was predicting maybe a little bit of a regression mm -hmm. just because, hey, the Broncos defense didn't look all the way the same after Bradley Chubb's trade last year. For sure. But this much is crazy. There's not a soul out there that could have predicted this much. This is insane. The Broncos aren't just bad on defense or the worst in the NFL. 
they're historically bad. These guys got a 70 ball dropped on them. Like that, that that's what's going on for the Broncos defense. Justin Fields, he looks like a new quarterback since he played the Broncos. He looks like the the Broncos just resurrected Justin Fields. Like it's it's wild what's going on um, with the Broncos defense, and there's no way you could have predicted it to be that bad. I mean, imagine good on Hackett that he hired Evero, and Evero just happened to be his best man at his wedding, and he had he hired the homie, but. Like and the home ended up being the guy really that I wish <laughs> desperately was on our unit still. Yeah, but man, could you imagine the Broncos last year didn't have him? They they probably are picking first this year. That that defense um was really good last year. And I, I maybe I even am underestimating how good Evero is. Maybe mm-hmm. he should be getting a lot of head coach looks this offseason, just looking at how drastic the drop-off has been since he left. 